My name is Ian Chin, and welcome to The Baking Chin, the show that tries to show that baking is fun, easy, and I think, rather appealing. So today, we're going to make naan bread. And naan bread is that great Indian flatbread that goes so well with curries and chutneys, but usually it's made in a tandoori oven, which is a big traditional oven from that part of the world that uh, gets to a very high temperature and you really have to take your dough and slap it on the side of the oven, which is uh, very fun, but not something that all of us have in our home kitchens. So today we're going to do a method that's, I think, uh, more home friendly and just as fun, if, you, if uh, you don't mind me saying so. For this recipe, we shall need 500 grams of flour, 300 grams of plain unsweetened yogurt, 50 milliliters of water, 50 grams of oil, 5 grams of baking powder, 5 grams of baking soda, and 10 grams of salt. I like to use both leavening agents because I think you really get the proper rise if you use both. Now, mix the leavening agents and the salt into the flour. Make a well in the center of the flour and pour in the wet ingredients. Mix well and dump onto your kneading surface. Knead vigorously for five to seven minutes until the dough is no longer sticky. Now, this dough does not have to be 100% elastic, just elastic enough to spring back when poked. <laughs> tight like a baby's behind. <laughs> Divide the dough into 8 to 10 pieces and roll into a rough ball shape. Cover each naan with a generous amount of oil and place back into your mixing bowl. I like to cover it with a shower cap. Rest the dough in the refrigerator for at least two hours or, for even better results, overnight. Take your rested dough out of the refrigerator and place on an oiled surface. Spread the dough out with well lubricated hands, and if the dough tears a little bit, it's not the end of the world. It'll still puff up just fine. Spread the dough slightly larger than you want to, to account for any spring back. Preheat a pan on high heat. And if that's a bit too high for your particular stove, just use medium high heat. Just when you see a little wisp of smoke, pour in a little oil and carefully place your stretched dough into the pan. At this point, you should be a little careful because there is a tendency for a bit of splashback and I wouldn't want anyone to get burned. It should immediately start to puff up. Fry for about 45 seconds to a minute or until the bottom color is a nice, healthy brown. Then flip the naan and cook for another 30 to 40 seconds. For garlic naan, just spread some minced garlic and chopped cilantro onto the stretched dough, and from there the procedure is just basically the same. And you can even add some mixed seeds to the top of the dough, and you'll make like kind of a everything bagel kind of naan. And when you're finished, if you're feeling a bit daring, Spoon on a bit of ghee, or that's clarified melted butter, if you wish. And here are the finished naan breads. And as you can see, they're just as they should be. They're very soft, and they're just slightly charred. And if you like them actually a little more blonde, you could put the heat down a bit. But I like them nice and charred and dark. And uh, if you look at the inside, they have a really nice airy kind of texture. A bit like a cross between a pita and a tortilla. And uh, it tastes awfully, awfully good. Pillowy heaven, especially if you dab it with a little bit of butter, it really gives a very nice richness. And whether it's a plain butter naan like this, or it's a garlic naan, which is my favorite from the Indian takeaway, or even this here, <laughs> everything bagel naan, which is um, a bit more original, all of them taste awfully good. So that's it for non bread, and uh, I'm no auntie, but I think this is a pretty good, pretty accessible non bread recipe. And uh, may I add that the dough lasts in the refrigerator for, oh, I'd say 
uh, two to three days. So you could really do this ahead of time if you had a big party or uh, if you just want fresh bread for your family at any time, you can have it in about uh, under two minutes. So thanks very much for joining me today on The Baking Chin. My name is Ian Chin and as always I wish you happy baking. Now it's time I've said farewell to you But don't worry yourself in We'll have lots of cakes and breads to do Next time on The Baking Chin Hey, Nora, 